Brush Grade is powerful, it's easy to use, and it's a wonderful way to capture and document student learning and to connect that broader learning community. We use FreshGrade primarily in the classroom uh, for our IB portfolio. So traditionally that would be in a big three ring binder where teachers and students would be photocopying and hole punching and organizing and this binder would carry through the students' um, elementary school years. And those pieces for reflection are now housed in FreshGrade. In the future, the child, parent, teacher can then sit down and look at their growth and development throughout their elementary journey. At Irwin Park, we had a music teacher. Previously, uh, he would meet with students individually to listen to them play and test them and, and then give them feedback, but it took a long time. What he did is he allowed students to be able to record themselves through fresh grade and play their musical instruments online at home, which not only allowed students to be able to do retakes, which means they're getting more practice, but it was able to allow the music teacher to give that just-in-time feedback that's really important. And so he was able to watch them and give uh, personal feedback immediately and then when he was in the classroom he was able to do other lessons instead of just the assessment so it sort of uh, expanded his classroom. Parents are connected, teachers are connected, students feel proud of their work. Really understanding where each student is in their process is key to that personalized learning piece and, and with fresh grade it allows you to see where they all are. And that digital triad is probably one of the most important things I find and putting the ownership on the student is very important for me and for the student. It gives them a little bit more agency and builds their capacity as a learner. It's definitely added to our parent-teacher conferences, for sure. This year was the first year that the whole school went to a triad conference where parent, teacher, and student sat down together to discuss the child's learning and, and their goals for the upcoming terms, and uh, Fresh Grade definitely played a role in that. We're using it as a portfolio piece, but also we're using the gradebook application as well for teachers to monitor growth with their students. So one of the things I wanted to look at was how does taking letter grades out of the equation affect grade sevens and their feelings of self-worth and, and how they feel about themselves going into high school. And now our district is, is letter grade free from grade four to seven. And instead we have descriptors to sort of describe what the kids are doing and how they're doing with respect to the learning outcomes. And what I find with fresh grade is it, it just adds another level when you, you take the, the sort of the descriptors and you accompany it with evidence in their portfolio, the child can understand that they are growing, they are changing, they are getting better. Not only that, but because I'm asking them to be more reflective and because I'm not stamping them with a letter grade, they're more uh, understanding of what they need to improve because we talk more about that stuff when, when letter grades aren't involved, I feel. We like to think that long gone are the days where we would simply provide a, a number and assign somebody a seven out of 10 or a letter grade without something a little more meaningful in terms of what you might do to improve or where you're at with a particular skill set. Fresh Grade helps us solve that problem. Um, you can uh, document learning, you can see the artifacts, um, you can capture the actual process. The kids are more motivated for certain things, doing certain things because they know I'll put it on their fresh grade. So they'll often do something, create something, are proud of something and say, we put this on my, take a picture, take a picture, we put this on my fresh grade. Kids love it. They really want their parents to see things that they're proud of. It allows for all kinds of minds to be able to document their journey. And I think that learning journey is so important. So where they are at the beginning, how are they going to go to the next step? And it actually allows them to see a plan unfold and come to an end that's not just about the teacher, but it involves the student and involves the parents. And it invites students to take some ownership of their work. Suddenly it matters because this is going in my portfolio and I can share it with others.